Hey guys, what is happening and welcome to the 15th episode of my Modern Warfare Remastered Annihilation series. If you don't already know what's going on in this series, where we look through all the guns on the game, uh, we started off with the assault rifles, got through all of them, and now we're on to the SMGs, and we are almost finished with them. We've only got two more guns left to do, unless they bring out some guns within the next couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, we're on to the last two guns, and both of these guns are guns that have been added into the game. And as you can see, we're starting off here today with the Mac 10. And uh, yeah, the setup today, we have got Red Dot Sight on there. Uh, we've got Fire Camo, which I, you guys know I love, and the Reactive Kit as well, which I unlocked a few weeks back. Um, and yeah, it's um, yeah, it's a good gun, generally. And um, yeah, we're going to do, do a little bit more talking about it. It's nice when we've got a new gun. Uh, a little bit more to talk about um, in the gameplay as you can see there um, got the usual perks on which is stopping power um, bandolier and extreme conditioning which is the, it's the usual setup for me I like to use this setup especially on a map like Backlot um, I think you've seen a couple of gameplays already from me on Backlot if you've been watching my videos and it's a map where I think it's quite easy to run and gun it's nice to attack teams because Look at how many chances there are for you to just literally pop behind something, reload, and then you go straight back out, round the corner again. You see there, very cheeky turn on that guy, uh, gets us a UAV. And this is a really strong gameplay from me. Um, very nice KD at the end of it, but also just a very commanding gameplay, um, especially using a gun with quite a small clip, um, especially for, an, for a gun as well that isn't seen as quite a commanding gun in the game because... As far as the Mac 10 goes, I I unlocked it. I unlocked most of the guns as they came out because I sort of saved cogs. Once I knew that guns were going to be coming out, I just saved spare parts and um, went from there. But the Mac 10 I don't see used a lot on the game for some of the new guns. Um, I see it used a fair bit, but just not as much as the XMLR um, and just other guns that have been added, like um, the Fang and stuff like that as well, which you'll see later on. And the Boss is quite popular at the moment, uh, which I've already covered as well. Um, but I, to be honest, haven't really used it a lot. And I think when I first got it, I used it a little bit. I think I just unlocked it because I wanted to unlock all the guns. So I thought I might as well go along with it. And I used it for quite a bit leading up to getting this gameplay. And to be honest with you, I struggled a bit at the start because um, I was trying to use it. I, I find it very, very similar to the Mini Uzi. It has a, quite a similar fire rate um, and it just seems to, to it seems to play quite similarly and when I was using the Mini Uzi I actually struggled quite bad for a gameplay with that so I was a little bit worried that it was going to take me quite a while um, but I think it's like fourth or fifth gameplay um, of the day that I managed to get this with which was awesome um, but yeah it's just one of them guns the Mini, um, <laughs> the mini Uzi not the Mini Uzi it's the Mac 10 that we're using here if we don't know already um, it's one of them guns that I think you have to be very tactical about the way that you play when you use it. As you can see here, I'm making sure I get them reloaded, but I'm reloading as I'm running because I feel if you're not gaining ground and getting around the map, then you're going to struggle to get in kills, but also you need to be reloading, so you can't waste time by sitting and reloading too much. As you can see here, I'm just absolutely running. I've got my chopper out at the moment, uh, and I'm making no mistakes. I'm just trying to get at the other team as well. Extreme conditioning for me is a must, um, unless you're playing a map maybe like Kill House, where I don't really think it's necessary. Um, or shipment, but shipment isn't in the rotation for kill confirmed or team deathmatch anymore, which is a real shame because I enjoyed playing shipment. I was hoping that I'd be able to get a few easier gameplays um, for some of the guns that I'd struggle on with. Um, but yeah, anyway, we've got this gameplay, and um, as you see, it's, it's nice as well for this game mode that I play kill confirmed because I can get around the map nice and quick. Um, as you see, their juggernaut is an issue, and that is one thing we're going to jump onto um, the power of this gun. I didn't choose to use sleight of hand purely because you guys know I love stopping power. I'm just used to using stopping power, and uh, I think I'd get more frustrated if I wasn't using it. But when there's a juggernaut against this gun, oh my word, it is you, you're using the full clip. There's no doubt you're going to be using the full clip, which is frustrating unless you're really good at aiming high and getting them headshots. You can see we get a headshot there, but most of the time you are just spraying and praying with this gun, and well, not spraying and praying because. Once you spray, you're aiming at the guy. There's not much clip, clip going to be left to use. Um, you see here, I'm I'm playing this very tactically, um, getting in and out of the, getting in and out of their spawn, and uh, just struggling to get to the seven kill streak there, which is frustrating. But I tell you what, this gun I really had a blast using this, and um, 
like I said, the first few games I was, I was just struggling to get used to, but what I found of it's really nice to aim from the hip into um, aiming down the side as well. Um, but sometimes you can literally go a game just aiming from the hip on it. With steady aim, it would be ridiculous, but I haven't actually used steady aim on it yet. But as you can see there, I don't even need to think about aiming down the side, which is nice. Um, but like I said, I think it's something where you've got to be prepared to be quite... Um, take a few deaths first in a game. Um, in this game, it's, it's not the prime example, but in a few of the games, I've got decent gameplays, but at the start, I was dying maybe like five or six times and only getting maybe one kill. Uh, but you have to get used to playing against a team uh, that you're going at and just sort of get used to really trying to find how the gun works, what's best for you. Um, I didn't find the recoil too bad, to be honest, in this. The iron sight I found absolutely horrific, just could not get along with it at all. Um, I haven't used it much with Silent, so I just seem to get along with Red Dot the most. And uh, as you can see there again, Juggernaut, I've got a nice few chest shots there with stopping power on, but just doesn't seem to like it. I needed at least like another three more shots, which is ridiculous when you think about it. Um, but yeah, that is just one of the things in this game at the moment. Um, whilst I'm doing this commentary, there is a Weekend Warfare out at the moment, uh, which is health and damage, which eliminates stopping power and, uh, and Juggernaut. I might do a little video on that. Um, because I'm actually really enjoying it. It feels a bit like an old style Call of Duty the way that the game's playing at the moment. So we might do that and uh, yeah, get, it puts the guns all on an even basis. And I just feel out of the SMGs, this sort of sits sort of mid range for me. Um, like I said, it wasn't added in the first game, uh, brand new gun. Um, but I would say it sort of sits mid range for me. Um, I really, I feel really strongly towards like the P90 and the AK74U, and they are quite popular guns on the game, so it's to be expected. And um, I had fun using like the Scorpion and the, uh, the Mac 10 and the Mini Uzi, and they're all quite similar guns with very short clips, um, and they're great for sort of if you if you're having a gameplay where you're really feeling on top of your game. Um, but if I'm not on top of my game trying to use this gun. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit frustrating. I think you end up just wanting to use an assault rifle or something with a bit of a larger, larger clip. And um, yeah, you have to, like I said, you have to really be in the right zone to use this gun. And um, look, thankfully, I was in this gameplay. And as you can see there, I've finally got that guy off the turret. And uh, yeah, it's nice. It's um, it's not got a bad range in its business. And as you see what I was doing there, I was just sort of dabbing the gun to get like accuracy, just waiting for that red dot to come back. So it's just getting that timing used to it as well. Like I said. It is a game. It is a gun that I think if you're playing on smaller maps, you can pick up and play with this gun, and you'll have no problems. But if you're trying to use it on a bigger map, your pipelines are overgrown. I wouldn't even bother using it on them type of maps. And I've said this a lot about the SMGs, certain SMGs, and towards the back end of these SMGs, to be honest. And uh, yeah, that it's just one of them guns I think where you you have to be prepared to um, take a few deaths, like I said. Um, but as you can see in this game, I've done really well. I've pretty much carried the team. Not only have I picked up a good kill death ratio, I've also picked up a lot of confirms, which is nice. We've only got five left to confirm here. And uh, yeah, that guy, that that part of the map just really frustrates me. Uh, I think my chopper took him down after anyway, which is cool. Uh, we'll go up and pick these tags, and we've only got three more tags to get. So we are almost wrapping up for the end of this gameplay. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, we have got one more SMG left to do, which is the Fang. Uh, which will be hopefully a really good gameplay for you guys. I'm really liking that gun, so look forward to that gameplay. Um, and I pretty much almost got gold in it as well, so hopefully in the gameplay that I do for you, I'll have gold on it, um, or on the on tiger, I'll probably use gold to be honest. Uh, but as you see here, just finishing up, getting the reload in here, and uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of the gameplay. Like I said, if you have enjoyed this, then please drop a like. Um, and should have got that guard in there, really frustrating. But yeah, drop a like if you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good weekend and peace.